Hey everybody, Sonuts here, and in this video I'm going to be discussing The Walking Dead Season 6 Episode 13 called The Same Boat. The reason for that title is that Carol and Maggie are in the same boat as their counterparts, meaning Paula is basically a reflection of what Carol would be if it wasn't for her morality, and Shell is a reflection of what Maggie would be if it wasn't for her morality and the fact that she's about to become a future baby mama. Now, this episode really surprised me. It ended up being way better than I thought it would be. It started off slow, which led me to believe it was going to be a filler episode with no real story progression, just a lot of talking. But boy, was I wrong. We got to learn more about the type of people that work for Negan. We got to see Carol be the crazy chameleon that we've grown to love. We also got to see her be vulnerable and deal with her moral dilemma. We got to see Maggie get down and dirty, and we got to see the savior body count rise, which is only going to make Negan more vicious and violent when he finally meets the group in the finale, sadly. Now, the episode just kept getting better with each minute that passed, and Carol was phenomenal. Melissa McBride is basically an actor playing an actor. She's playing as Carol, and Carol is playing as whoever she needs to be to trick her enemies into thinking she's a scared little housewife, when really, she's a scary little widow. Um, I loved how she started having a fake panic attack and used a rosary to make them think that she's a terrified, God-fearing Christian woman, and how she told them about Maggie's bun in the oven. I think that was a wise tactic to buy them some time and to keep the saviors from doing anything drastic to her and Maggie too soon so that Rick's group had time to make it there to rescue them. Now at the beginning of the episode, Carol pulled off an equally intelligent tactic by using her feet to leave a specific trail for Daryl to track them down with. That was something I missed the first time that I watched it and didn't really notice it until the second time. Carol is a survivor. She knows what to do, and she does what she knows. Now, something else I noticed the second time around was during the Shell and Maggie interrogation, when Maggie asked her about her missing pinky, she replied by saying it was cut off for stealing gas to go search for her boyfriend. That leads me to believe that the car up the road that everyone noticed at the beginning of episode 9, right before Daryl blew up those saviors, was actually Shell. She seen Daryl explode her boyfriend and the others and said fuck this shit and dipped out before she could get spotted. If that's true, it's a good thing she's dead because now she can't point out Daryl for Negan to kill, although he still might during the any mini miny mo scene. <laughs> you comic fans know what I'm talking about. But anyways, back to um, what I like about the episode. Now this episode was pretty conversation heavy, but I really enjoyed the back and forth banter between all of the characters because it was never really too boring. And something else I liked was we learned that there are actual powerful women in Negan's group that are above the men. In the comics, most of his women are basically as sex slaves and handle their womanly duties, but for the show they showed us a different side of the saviors which was really cool and I'm sure it made female fans of the comics very happy because women can be bosses too you know mm-hmm okay now some of my favorite moments came towards the end mainly the one where Shell and Maggie were in a scuffle and Shell sliced at Maggie's stomach trying to give her an open gut abortion Carol seen that shit, walked up to her like Denzel in American Gangster and blew her fucking brains out without hesitation even though Carol doesn't really want to kill anymore, she still did it because she doesn't really want Maggie to feel the pain of losing a child the way that she did. In her mind, she's thinking, anytime a child's life is in danger, it's okay to take a life, you know, to protect that child, and I wholeheartedly agree. Now, I know I haven't really spoken too much about Paula, but that's because she's not really all that interesting. The best scene with her in it was when Carol pushed her into the pole and we got to watch the walker feast upon her face. It was glorious, I tell you. And speaking of walkers and poles, that little setup they had inside was basically a nod to the main saviors facility from the comics that has a lot of walkers stuck on poles and spikes outside their gate as a form of security to scare people off and prevent them from wanting to enter. 
I love it when they have little Easter eggs in their episodes. It makes them so much better. Now, the final scene that I really enjoyed was the very end where Rick and the crew showed up, Glenn and Maggie reunited, Daryl and Carol hugged and had a moment for the first time in a long time, and Rick had a brief conversation with Primo, asking where he got the bike and where Negan was, and Primo says he's Negan, and Rick enters fuck you mode and shoots him right in the face without hesitation, and Carol has just the most distraught look on her face. She's just so worrisome at that moment because she knows that Primo is not Negan because she was told that everybody's Negan. So we're really going to uh, get to see how that's going to play out in the next episode. But yeah, it's a great ending to a great episode. Even though I felt like Paula was kind of lame, that still didn't really affect the episode too much because it mainly focused on Carol dealing with the skeletons in her closet and being the badass we love. Alright, so I'm going to give my quick predictions as to what I think is going to occur in episode 14, which is called Twice as Far. And the synopsis on AMC.com reads, Two different groups leave Alexandria on supply runs. While both are concerned with the future of the community, immediate danger will derail them. Now that's a little bit different from the information that was on IMDB less than a week ago. The IMD information reads, Heath and Tara are still out on their supply run. Instead of finding goods for Alexandria, they find trouble. But as you know, in the promo at the end of episode 13, we didn't see Heath and Tara anywhere. We got to see Abraham and Eugene out on a supply run and what looked to be Daryl and Rosita out on a supply run. But I think they're using a form of trickery. I don't really think Daryl and Rosita are one of the groups out on a supply run. I think they're out trying to help one of the groups that are in trouble on the supply run. Now, that group may end up being Abraham and Eugene. It might go down like it did in issue 98 of the comics, where Abraham and Eugene go out. Abraham gets shot in the back of the head by Dwight, and then Eugene gets captured. Or maybe that'll switch and flip-flop, and it'll be Heath or Tara who gets shot in the back of the head by Dwight, and either Heath or Tara get captured by Dwight. Could be either or. Like I said, Daryl and Rosita probably run out and they're trying to uh, save whichever group is in trouble. Now, Robert Kirkman did say he killed off Abraham in the comics too soon and he'd like to see him last a lot longer in the TV show. So that leads me to believe that Abraham might not get his comic book death. That's why I'm really thinking it's going to be either Heath or Tara because... Those two characters really aren't that important, at least in the TV show. You know, Heath hasn't really had a big role, hasn't said much, hasn't done much, and the fact that he's going to be going to the 24 TV show sometime in the near future, you know, makes it seem like a, a good way to kill him off. And then Tara, she just had a baby because she was nine months pregnant during the filming of this season, so, you know, she might not want to be in the show anymore because she's a mom I don't really know but that's just what I think is going to go down one of those two groups are going to get ambushed by Dwight and yada 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 somebody going to die somebody going to get captured Rick's group is going to go and murder lies all of Dwight's men and then the episode's going to end and then we're going to move on to episode 15 where shit's going to get crazy and then finally the finale where shit is going to get so bonkers you know people's minds are going to be blown and other people's hearts are going to be broken but anyways that's what i think hope you guys enjoyed the video catch you guys on the next one peace out